Hello and welcome to Manga Tour 96 and today we're going to talk about Classroom of the Elite. Today's topic will be Susan's perfect brother who really doesn't want anybody to know that his younger sister is in class D. But that doesn't stop him of being very interested in another member of the same class despite it being potentially more damaging to his reputation than people finding out that his sister is in the same class. I'm of course talking about Manabu Horikita. But before we start, here's the spoiler warning, as we spoil a lot of things in this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I would highly recommend that you go and read the light novel, as it is an enjoyable read. For everyone else, let's start with who Manabu is. Manabu Horikita is a student of the Advanced Nutrient High School and the older brother of Susan Horikita. He is also the student council president. Manabu is a vastly intelligent and serious man who was very dedicated to his studies as a student council president. He holds his role in high regard, despite through his belief that his reputation could be tarnished if it was discovered that Suzanne was in D-class, the lowest class. He does not tolerate excuses as he couldn't believe or accept his sister's words that her placement in D-class wasn't her fault. With no remorse, he almost went as far as attempting to assault Suzune, showcasing his violent side before Kiyotaka intervened. He quickly tried to take his fury out on him, but his strikes were easily brushed off by the latter. After the battle, rather than apologize to his sister, he reprimanded her antisocial nature and told her to work harder if she didn't want to be in the lower class of the school. He appears to enjoy complex social situations as shown in his smirk at the complaint against Ken and when he informed Sai Chabashira when he was present at the hearing. Despite his serious outlook and reputation, he is not about giving praise to those who impress him, showing through his interaction with Arisu Sakayanagi and Kohei Katsuragi about their success on the recent test. This attitude appeared again when he complimented Kiyotaka after holding his own in a battle with him. He seems to have developed a degree of respect towards Kiyotaka as his actions have caught his eye, demonstrated when he hinted that Kiyotaka intentionally entered D-class believing he is hiding what he is fully capable of and become disappointed when Kiyotaka does something that he doesn't live up to his reputation, such as at the events with Ken's hearing. However, he was willing to let Kiyotaka become part of the student council due to seemingly admiring his talent and although his offer was turned down initially, did not give up on trying to recruit him. In the light novels, he was not above accepting a challenge from Kiyotaka and was shown to be very competitive against him in the race. Despite this rivalry, he did not mind going to Kiyotaka for aid after he saw that his successor was unreally with his power. Those events show how much he has come to believe in Kiyotaka and appear to respect his decision to think about it and not pressing the issue as they seemingly beat one another farewell. As for his past, not much is known about Manabu besides the fact that he entered the Advanced Nutrient High School where he will rise through the ranks and become one of its most respected and well-known students. At some point he became the student council president, gaining him more respect from the student body. He also attended the same middle school as Suzune in Kikyo. As for his relationship with Suzune, Suzune is his younger sister who seeks to prove herself in his eye, showing that she greatly admires him. Despite this, Manabu used his sister as a disappointment due to her placement in class D, which greatly displeases him. It is unknown if they were ever close or if he ever had a brotherly affection towards his sister, though it is shown that Susanne has protected the two of them together, meaning he did care for her a while back. Currently, their relationship is rather turbulent, as Manabu has expressed contempt for his sister's academic failure placing her in class D. He ordered her to withdraw from their school since his reputation which he worked hard to build was on the line and become angry at her refusal. He nearly physically attacked her in his rage, though Kiyotaka quickly intervened. After a brief scuffle with him, Manabu left but not before admitting he was surprised she made a friend that would help her, but she denied it as he voiced his disappointment in her antisocial ways. In episode 5, they are seen together again, hearing of Ken Sudo and Manabu's very presence causes Suzune to get shaken up so much that she couldn't speak. With Kiyotaka's help, she gets her resolve back. Suzune is able to get her point those present at the hearing commence much further. Despite his sister's strong determination in the case, Manabu 
was still not impressed with her efforts. He did question Kyotaka if she came up with everything by herself after the hearing was over but gets a vague answer. When Kalasi withdrew the complaint against Sudo, Manabu assumed it was Kyotaka's idea but the latter cast the credit to Suzune. He simply glared at Ayano Koji for either because of his sister being mentioned or sensing that he was lying to cover up his own involvement. During the summer outing, though they didn't interact personally, Manabu bore witness to his sister's speech of how it's possible for class D to reach class A. After the speech, his only reaction was a glare at his sister who responded in the same way, it is unknown what he thinks of her now. As for his relationship with Kiyotaka, the two were smed with Kiyotaka prevented him from attacking his sister, quietly admonishing him for his action before demanding her release her. When Suzanne asked him to not get involved, Kiyotaka complied by releasing his arm. Manabu then took the opening and tried to hit him, but he nibbly avoided Manabu's strike to the latter's surprise. He was impressed by this display, asking Kiyotaka if he studied martial arts to which the latter gave him a vague answer. Manabu soon recognizes him as the student who scored exactly 50 on all his entrance exams on the recent quiz. He inquired him of this strange coincidence, hinting that he is aware that Kiyotaka is hiding his intelligence on purpose, but the latter shrugs this off. Manabu calls Kiyotaka's actions unique before he left the scene, while being surprised his sister made a friend that will come to her aid. They met again where they are present during the case for Ken Sudo. It is shown that Manabu has some expectation for Kiyotaka as he believed that his presence at the hearing meant that he had a strategy but his question is disregarded. When Kiyotaka supported Iris Sakura, Manabu attempted to attack Kiyotaka again as the latter dodges his strike and Manabu questions as to whether he has something planned but gets a vague answer. When Class C's complaint against Sudo was withdrawn, Manabu meets with Kiyotaka in the hallway and informs him about this. He congratulates him on the victory, but Kiyotaka once again gives Suzune all credit for the act. Glaring intentionally at Ayano Koji, Manabu had asked Tachibana if they had an opening for secretary on the student council to which she confirms. He then offers the position to Kiyotaka, showing that he truly sees him worthy of the higher status than the others despite his class and background. This is especially noteworthy as he is notoriously known for turning down many applications even those from highly esteemed students like Honami. Kiyotaka turned down the offer in fear of living a normal school life. Manabu accepted his decision for now, though he told him not to disappoint him. In the light novel, during the sports festival in volume 5, they meet again and after trading banter for a while, Kiyotaka challenges him to a race to which Manabu accepts. While they let other competitors get ahead of them initially, both of them run at almost equal and unimaginable speed. One of the other competitors panicked after seeing how fast those two raced against each other, which made him fall onto the ground. At such an unforeseen event, Kiyotaka changed his course on the track, thus leading to the end of the race with Kiyotaka's defeat. Later on in the series in Volume 7, Manabu visits Kiyotaka in his room while the latter is cleaning and enjoying his new life, no pressure. He shared his thought on how he dreads the new school system set by the new student council that will inevitably increase the number of expelled students. Thus, Manabu requests Kiyotaka to do something about it, no matter the means such as using Suzune or whatever it is openly conducted or not. He explains that Miyabi, the current student council president, has full control of all sophomores and even forced Honami into the council, thus concluding that bringing Miyabi into the student council and failing to show him the right path was a mistake on his part. They both bid farewell to each other with Kiyotaka stating that he will think more about it. Later on, in the volume Kiyotaka asks for Manabu's assistance in being a witness to his fight against Yuen, Ibuki, Ishizaki and Albert. During volume 11.5, Manabu gives some things for Kiyotaka to think about during the final conversation. He reveals that he evaluates Kiyotaka very highly, saying that Kiyotaka had the ability to easily surpass him and that Kiyotaka was the one person that he absolutely did not want to fight or make an enemy of. He encouraged him to try and leave a mark on the school as an unforgettable existence, something Kiyotaka states to be a cruel parting gift. Manabu thanked him for everything including taking care of his sister. Kiyotaka and Suzune parted ways with him with Manabu wishing to meet them again after Kiyotaka's graduation. He trusts him enough to ask him to help to convey a secret message to his sister, to which he did. 
Both of them acknowledge the fact that they know each other's secret side that they don't normally show others, establishing a strong sense of trust and mutual respect for one another. In the end, he still thinks that evaluation highly of him, strongly refusing his modest replies that he is just a normal student. Manabu then took out his phone, showing Tachibana's and his phone numbers to him. He told him that if Kiyotaka ever finds himself needing help, he can always contact them. He was willing to put himself in a compromising and vulnerable position as a contact with people outside was prohibited. Kiyotaka was initially intrigued with him as Manabu offered many words of wisdom and lamented that with him leaving, it made him feel lonely. He apologized on his sister's behalf for how she is always causing him trouble. Before they parted, Manabu extended his hand and asked for permission to check his hand to which Kyotaka returned the gesture. As for his relationship with Akane. Akane is the student council secretary of the advanced Nutrient high school. Not much is known about their relationship but they appeared to get along fine as he had no problem in having Tachibana speak when addressing the hearing of Ken Sudo and seems to trust her opinion in helping him lead the student body. However, at times it appears he can sometimes be stern with her when she questioned his decision as shown in episode 6, where she was shown at his decision to make Aino Koji, a first year student from the lowest class of the school, into a member of the council. Tachibana was silenced by a simple glare from Manabu, showing she can be intimidated by him at times. With this, I covered everything that I wanted to cover on Manabu. And that'll be all for this video. If you like this video, leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or subscribe to the channel for more manga reviews and One Piece content. And I'll see you next time. Take care.